All right, so in this video, I want to show how to set up a Yoroi wallet, which is a Cardano specific wallet. And reason why you would want to do this is so that you can actually stake into an SPO or a stake pool operator so that you can begin earning interest on your Cardano. But because of the current events, there is a decentralized exchange called Sunday Swap that recently went through a round of voting to see which of the top 30 stake pool operators would be eligible for their delegates to receive the Sunday Swap tokens. Mm -hmm. So the way this works is that over the course of five epics, which is essentially 25 days, delegates to these top 30 stake pool operators will receive an airdrop, which is essentially free tokens of Sunday swap tokens. Don't know how much it's going to be worth, but you can essentially look at it as potentially free money here. So here's a really good opportunity to stake and receive these Sunday swap tokens. And the thing is, if you have your Cardano on centralized exchanges like Coinbase, or like Kraken or any exchange, you won't be eligible to receive the Sunday Swap tokens, even if you're earning interest on them, unless they're in one of the top 30 stake pool operators. And those are found right here. You can see these uh, top 30s. But beyond that, this is obviously time sensitive. So if you watch this video after the Sunday swap airdrop uh, period, then uh, no worries. The rest of the video will still show you how to set up a wallet using uh, your Roy and just the fundamentals for setting it up and staking it to a uh, SPO. So you probably want to do this regardless so that you can begin earning interest. But obviously, let's hop into it. Yoroi wallet here. Um, I'll put a link in the description, but you just simply download it. And this is a web extension. So I'm doing this on Firefox. I'll go on Firefox. I'll go ahead and add. Once I do that, I will see the extension over here. Let's click on it and Let's go through the process. So language, terms of use. If you want to read this, go ahead. It might be useful. And I'm going to choose create a wallet. But if you have a hardware wallet, you can definitely use your hardware wallet to connect to your ROI. But for most people, if you don't have one, just go ahead and do create a wallet. And we can choose the Cardano currency and let's choose create a wallet so this will be my cardano staking wallet you can name it whatever you want set up a passcode for yourself and of course make sure you note down what this passcode is because anytime you want to spend your cardano or send it you must put in your password so when we create the personal wallet, we will go through our recovery phase. Click here. You'll see the 15 words that you're always requesting for. Make sure you write this down. After recording your backup key, gone through an exercise to ensure that you noted the key correctly in the right order. And when you complete that, you will have your Cardano Yoroi wallet created. So this is the page that uh, the wallet will look like. And the next thing that we need to do is send our Cardano to this wallet. And to do that, the main thing that you want to go to is receive. And you can see that I just created like a whole bunch of extra new addresses here. You can create as many as you want but there's nothing wrong with using the wallet address that's on here. So when you copy this to your clipboard, go ahead and go back to your exchange and send the Cardano to this wallet address. And hopefully once it has been sent, 
you will see ADA in your account. And the next thing that needs to get done is we need to choose which of the stake pool operators we would like to delegate to. So with ADA in my wallet, I can officially begin delegating, but just to give you some insights on what these stake pool operators do and what to consider, I will go over these columns over here. So obviously the staking pool just shows the name of the SPO. ROA shows return of ADA annualized and you can see that on average it's around 5%. So you can expect approximately 5% of interest per year whenever you stake your ADA. Over here, this is the share pool and size. So you can see this number shows 3.1 million ADA, while this one shows 55 million. And if you look at the numbers next to it, the red box over here, which is 0.8% and 0.0% over here on the screen box. Reason why these are different is because it's going against the saturation limit of the pools. I believe with ADA, there's a 61 million saturation limit. And what this does is whenever a pool has more than the 61 million stake to it, it actually negatively impacts the rewards that are received in that pool. And so because of that, you wanna be sure that you choose a staking pool that isn't that saturated and uh, based off of what this looks like i think anything 0.7 percent under is probably a good safe bet and this incentivizes to stake to these smaller staking pools that are yet or not yet reaching that saturation limit it's also a way to help ensure that the network of Cardano remains decentralized and that not any one single pool gets most of the ADA stake towards it. Over here on the costs, you'll see different tax ratios and a fixed cost. And so how you can read this is obviously the stake pool operators, they are spending their own money to keep the operations running. And so they obviously need to charge for their operations. And whenever an epic has been completed and you get, say, your ADA rewards, let's say that you staked to GOAT stake and the pool ended up generating 2,000 ADA in rewards, you would subtract the 340 from that 2,000 so that would end up as 1660 uh, of left remaining ADA that would then be distributed to the delegates of that stake pool. And after uh, there's a two and a half, two and a half percent tax on that 1660 ADA. So some pools obviously have higher and lower costs compared to others. This pledge amount just shows how much the stake pool operator pledged themselves to get that staking pool started. And then this blocks, I believe, just shows how many blocks have been minted in the current epic. Um, but either way, uh, that's some information for you to determine which staking pool to join. But again, I'm trying to stake towards one of the stake pool operators that are legible for the Sunday swap airdrops. So I'm actually going to choose this last one because I've staked to them before. And I can just type in their ticker symbol. And you will see that Blue Cheese Steakhouse is essentially running seven different staking pools. I've already went ahead and delegated to one of them right here. You don't necessarily need to do uh, this one, but I'm just showing this for as an example. But all you need to do is delegate 
and enter in your spending password and click on delegate and you will be delegated to the stake pool. Other things to note on this is when you do delegate, there is a 0.172 uh, transaction fee as well as I believe two ADA is deposited and uh, held when you do the staking. And when you undelegate or restake somewhere else, you will get back that 288. Um, and on this bottom one, uh, bottom note here, this just shows the approximation of how much rewards that you should be receiving per epic, which again, per epic is five days. And yeah, that shows you how to delegate. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, on this page here, you'll see upcoming rewards. So I should expect to receive rewards after uh, end of Epic 310, which would be December 26th. And then uh, following after that, you can see the remaining epics and when to expect rewards. But thank you very much and hopefully this has been helpful for you and good luck with all of your staking. Bye.